Hey ladies and gents, this is Linda Fitchick 777 and today I'm coming at you. I just wanted to share with you a set of 12 cards that I made. A friend of mine in uh, a town close by has a ice cream um, candy shop and usually about when summer rolls around she'll come at me and commission me to make some handmade cards for her shop. And she does request a few vintage looking ones and she has... Uh, which I used last year. I think I had another video last year around this time that I showed you some cards I had made for a shop. And some of them do feature some personal photos from a niece of hers that she just loves the photos. They're just hilarious. They're perfect for these cards, I must say. Um, and then I just created some other kind of faith cards. Um, she hasn't seen yet. I told her, she goes, I want some like last year. And I said, well, I'm kind of working on some other ones if you don't mind. And she said, you know, she didn't care. Let's just do at least half and half. So I'm moving my sign out of the way and I will show you the cards I came up with. Um, the faith cards are, you know, they're all shabby chic and none of them I went a little bit too uh, bulky as usual. So none of them are mailable cards. I usually try um, to mail, have them where they can be mailed, but that is just not the case this time. So I'm just going to kind of bring in some cards to set down there for you um, as I'm separating these because I didn't separate them before I got started. The pictures I found, um, a couple of them just off Pinterest, and some of them you might recognize I did use... Even the personal ones, like I said, I uh, the other ones, I a couple of them I used last time with a little bit different sayings. The sayings I went on, you know, uh, like um, Google and just, you know, Googled, um, you know, funny sayings, that kind of thing. So here's the cards. The vintage ones I put on like a regular um, um, brown cardstock base. And these are all just very small cards. They are four by like five and a half. So that's the size of these cards. So this is the first one I made. Um, and it says notes, my thoughts for you in this cute picture I found off of Pinterest. And then the saying I found, I used this saying last year. I, I tried to find something else, but this just fit the way she's holding her little friend's chin in the, her hands, it says, remember, as far as anyone knows, we are nice, normal friends. I just thought that was so cute. Um, added a little bit of um, vintage, it's actually a tablecloth I found and uh, at a garage sale, had like a big hole in it. Huge, got it for a dollar and I didn't mind the hole in it because it allows me to just rip it up without concern. Um, and then I added a lot of um, flowers that I got from um, Hobby Lobby, and then some Prima flowers, some um, flowers from Michael's $1.50 bin in here. Um, this is, um, I think, these are burlap butterflies, but I can't remember where I got these. It might have been Hobby Lobby as well. Um, and then I just took some really thick thread I had, and I just kind of wound it up under in there, added some different trims, and then even added some glitter glass, as you can see. I just adhered that with Prima 3D Matte Gel. I right, right up in here. This is the teal glitter glasses. Glitter glasses from Renee Bouquets. I'll have her link down below. So anyway, there's the first card. And I didn't do, I know, sit down for a minute as I tell you. <sighs> Big breath. I did not do any sewing. There, I said it. It's quick. It's done. <gasps> gasping is over. I didn't do it. <laughs> I had so many cards to make and I was in such a hurry that I figured, you know what, as long as I texture all the edges and distress them with the Prima Distress Tool um, and I've got all this other texture with the glitter glass and laces and things like that, nobody's even going to miss that I did the sewing. Except for you, my loyal YouTube subscribers. Okay, there's the first one. Here's the second one. 
I just thought this was a great photo. I cut it down, kind of cut down the surroundings. I just love the way she's got her head thrown back. She's laughing. I did, again, a lot of the uh, laces, little flower lace from my stash. Actually, I think this uh, flower lace is from uh, Lavish Laces. I'll have her link down below. Um, again, I've got uh, glitter glass from Renee Bouquet's. Um, this particular one says, laugh until you leak. It just makes it funnier. <laughs> I love that quote. I thought it went perfect together. Uh, the paper line I used was from, I have to actually look here. It's been just a little bit. Um, so I had these cards. Teresa Collins, and it is, uh, I think it's the So Noted collection and the Memories collection. Uh, teals and pinks. It was just perfect. So a lot more, like I said, the same thing with the flowers, the threads. I added some little gems. I think these are like Jolie's uh, gems from, you know, Hobby Lobby or Michael's, something like that. Added some cute little canvas flowers in there. Um, this that you can't really see is actually a butterfly applique that came from Lavish Laces. Let me see. I just had this out a minute ago. Here it is. Let me show you. Um really beautiful. I keep picking it up and it's in pieces. There we go. Here, I found one that's whole. It comes like this. You buy it by the yard and you can see how big that these little um, butterfly appliques are and you just can cut them apart, of course. Just really pretty. So that's kind of what's peeking out down here along the side. Okay, so and these are all blank inside and then the card, that way they have room to write, you know, whatever they want. Okay, this is another um, image I used last year with the same quote. It was just too cute. It was just beckoning me to make it again. So a little bit of layering and stuff again. Um, this is just some um, uh, trim from my stash. Again, they all kind of have the same thing with the flowers and the heavy thread on there for texture, some other trims. Uh, most of them have the burlap butterfly and flowers in there, and I actually think these some of these came from P, who's Whimsical Endeavors here on YouTube. Hi, P. Um, this is a Prima flower here. I've got the glitter glass again on them. I mean, isn't that just the most freaking adorable image ever? And then the quote says, oh, no, you didn't. I don't get you just see her saying that. Dying. I love it. And then the background piece, you can't really see it a whole lot, but I was kind of messing around with some watercolors because some of my other cards have it. Um, I, I did like watercolor different um, shades on the back and I stamped over it with this little script stamp. And then I did white embossing powder on it and then of course heat it up uh, with the heat tool to kind of just get that really faint look. So that's kind of the background there, but you don't see it too well. But there's that card. These next two images is the niece of the gal that wanted me to make the card. She just loves these images, so she wanted me to use them again. This card has a lot of layering. You can see that most all of them do, but I mean, I popped a lot of them up on foam. Okay, um, here's another one of the beautiful butterflies from Lavish Laces. These are just gems by uh, Prima, kind of tucked in there, and her picture's just adorable, winking from the side. And then it says, when we're together, we're cooler than everyone else. <laughs> I just love it. Um, and then again, with some more of this cute trim. This is May Arch trim. I found at a garage sale, like a big spool of it for a quarter. Added some of the flowers, again, with the glitter glass, a burlap butterfly. And then this is just one of those resin frames, $1.50 Michael's bin. So there's that one. Okay, and then this is the other one image she wanted me to use. I think it's just adorable. Again, it's just really layered up. Again, with like crochet trim and that cute floral trim from Lavish Laces. These um, little ones here, these gems are from $1.50 Ben at Michaels. Again, with the thread and glitter glass. Another one of those frames, resin frames. Bunch of flowers layered. Yeah, these are just fun little um, gems. And then the saying says, we'll always be friends because you match my level of crazy. I just think, yeah, I could just hear that coming out of her mouth there with that image. So it was perfect. So there's kind of the vintage style cards. And then these other ones are kind of the faith-based cards. And all of these I did some sort of just kind of messing around with watercolor. Would totally not call myself a professional. Just love the look of it. And I'm just trying to use it a little bit to get a little more comfortable with it. So um, 
these first two cards I'm going to show you, I actually got this idea pretty much scrap lifted um, from Prima. And it is, oh my gosh, I just forgot her name. She did, let me lay it down here. She did a um, Prima class on it. Let me find it here real quick on my iPad because it's going to bug me if I don't um, um, tell you who it is. One moment, please. I cannot believe all of a sudden I cannot remember her name. Drives me nuts. It's because I'm right in the middle and trying to show you everything. She's going to come up real quick. Um, I did different colors, but the design is kind of what I um, stayed with. Um, because that is... Um, how I was learning and it looked real easy for my first time. Robbie Herring, um, wonderful, beautiful designer for Prima. And she has like, you know, tons of classes. She does Ustream, of course. Um, anyway, but I wanted to try this because it just looked, like I said, real easy. She just did some watercolor strips here. And then she had matched um, the flowers with the colors, watercolors that she used. She did like one stamp in the center. So I was kind of mastering that. And then she had added like a trim down the side and then a little bit of bling. So I kind of did the same thing. Um, but added a little more, like I add a little bit of color. I use uh, some Prima paper um, for the background. Um, old collection, I can't quite remember right now. And then the three colors I did with watercolor. And then this is a stamp I got at Hobby Lobby. It says Jesus, Peace Giver, Heart Lifter, Forgiver, Soul Healer. And then I did it again just white on white just so it's really subtle. But it's still there and pretty. Um, again, with the threads, the flowers with the glitter glass. And then these are some Prima um, brads. These are brads from like $1.50 Bennett Michaels. Some of the cute flowers from Hobby Lobby. Got a little bit of a doily in there. Um, and everything, it's dimensional up on foam. Fun foam is what I've got. Okay, little crochet. So that's one. And then I did kind of the same card again, but a different... Um, stamp on it in different colors. I kind of went in with the real pretty kind of peach and like a silver and a light green. I know it'll be hard to see on here. Um, but this one says, with God, all things are possible. There it is. Let me bring it in closer so you can see it. All the lighting kind of washes it out a little bit. Again, with the threads, the little bit of, you know, bling and the flowers, glitter glass. So that is those two cards. Like I said, nice and easy and just trying to, you know, real easy mess with some watercolors. And so simple. I think, I mean, both of these cards, you could probably do both of them in like half an hour. Okay. Um, oh, back to vintage. I found one tucked in the mix. Here's another vintage. Let's go back to that. Some beautiful trim. This is from Lavish Laces. This beautiful pink trim. Um, up on some dots, a little Graphic 45 and Prima paper. It says, hello, friend. This is, I just adore this picture. Found it on Pinterest. Figured it'd be okay because you can't see their face. You know, if you're going to pin it to Pinterest, you're probably going to figure other people are going to pin it and use it. And then the code I found says, be your own kind of beautiful. So I thought that was nice. And then some flowers and the thread and this trim hanging out and butterflies. So there's that card. Last one of the vintage. I thought I got through those vintage too quick. <laughs> okay, um, so three more cards left. So this one, another kind of watercolor card. This, again, really easy. Let me bring it up here so you can see, like, green here. And then I did pink up here, and I just kind of swirled them together. And I did a little bit of peach in there as well. And then I to bring that up a little bit, I did it on this Woodward, $1.50 bin from Michaels. It's got the greens and kind of the pinks and the peaches. There, if I turn it that way, you can maybe see the, the light and dark shades of it. Anyway, so kind of brought that up. Again, a graphic 45. A cup of tea warms the soul like a good friend. White for burlap butterfly. Again, with more of these beautiful flowers. And um, this is from Prima from the... Um, I hate when I forget. The collection. 
<laughs> Prima flower here. This is old Prima butterfly here. Resin frame. These are. This is a chipboard um, leaf I got at Michaels from the Recollections. It was a. Uh, you get like a. Um, just was it not too long ago you get like a big cardboard thing of different um, chipboard pieces in it so I just painted that white did a little pink glitter glass from a navel case on this one and on the flowers so there's that here's another one this one's called happy and again this is another of those chipboard leaves I got at Michaels they come in like a, a cardboard shadow box like you know Prima so in different leaves and there's all different shapes that you get but anyway um, different designs I mean not just leaves um, this is a little bit of uh, doily I ripped apart got some flowers and the threads and the bling and glitter glass again rolled roses on there resin frame from Michaels I think this one just turned out really pretty but so layered and thick see these are not mailable but hopefully someone will still like them I've got little sentiments or little notes I'm going to put with them saying, you know, these cards aren't suitable for mailing. They would be beautiful with a handmade gift or uh, something like that or just presented with a regular gift. But anyway, so this is the last one done in purples, graphic 45, a little bit of a paper doily here. Um, this is a little chipboard uh, brick wall I painted, added another one of those resin frames and then the Prima fabric flower here. Some Wild Orchid Craft flowers on top with a Prima butterfly. And then this one says, Miracles happen to those who believe. And in this one I just did uh, with the watercolor in a couple of different shades of purples. And then again with the glitter glass around it. So see, nothing real like, um, you know, extravagant with... The, the watercolors because like I said I'm just trying to learn but it was just enough to kind of dabble in it a little bit there if I turn it you might be able to see a little bit of the shading of the purples let me it's gonna get dark for a minute there you can kind of see the different there there you can kind of see the different shadings of the purples and stuff on there Okay, but anyway, so here's my cards. Um, I hope you enjoyed them. I had fun making them. I set them all out, and one day I laid them out, and then the next day I, like, glued them all together, and I kept with the same design and themes and products so that it would be easy to make 12 of them you know, in a short amount of time. Um, anyway, so I'll have the links down below to some of those stores that I mentioned. Links down below to my blog and Pinterest for close-up photos. I hope you enjoyed looking at these cards as I enjoyed sharing them with you. I thank you for sharing your time with me, and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye!